In travel news, for April 19th, 2023, we talk about an upcoming change to the Las Vegas Strip. An iconic resort in Kauai is about to get a makeover, and Ama Waterways continues their commitment to sustainable travel. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is Today in Travel. A new chapter is about to unfold in the vibrant history of Las Vegas as the renowned Mirage Hotel and Casino prepares for a grand transformation. Over the next few months, the famous property will undergo a significant renovation, making way for a new Hard Rock Hotel and Casino that will feature the brand's iconic neon guitar-shaped structure. The Mirage has been a staple on the Las Vegas Strip since its inception, boasting a massive size with over 3,000 rooms and a reputation for hosting memorable heavyweight fights. Its striking volcanic feature has been a key attraction for visitors from all around the world. Having acquired the property for over $1 billion, the Hard Rock Group is set to introduce several changes to the landscape. Among them, the iconic volcano and the Siegfried and Roy secret garden will be removed to make way for the fresh new look of the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Travelers eager to witness the transformation should expect a gradual process, with significant progress anticipated later in 2023 or even into 2024. In the meantime, the Mirage Hotel and Casino will continue to welcome guests, ensuring a seamless transition during the renovation and rebranding phase. Once complete, the new Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Las Vegas promises to offer a reimagined experience to all its visitors. During the renovation, the hotel aims to stay open and seek support from the local community. As a gesture of goodwill, the new owner will offer fully paid parking for local residents, a benefit that has become increasingly scarce in recent years. While many of the hotels in the area provide free parking for limited periods, the Hard Rock Group intends to further cater to the local crowd, acknowledging that travelers from afar may be hesitant to book a stay at a property under construction. With this exciting transformation on the horizon, Las Vegas is set to welcome a new era of travel experiences for both tourists and locals alike, further solidifying its position as a world-class destination. The iconic Coco Palms Resort on the picturesque island of Kauai, famous for its role as the backdrop for the 1961 film Blue Hawaii, starring Elvis Presley and Joan Blackman, is gearing up for a much-awaited revival. Once a popular retreat for Hollywood's elite, the resort suffered severe damage from Hurricane Iniki in 1992 and has since fallen into disrepair. Despite numerous attempts to restore its former glory, none have been successful until now. Reef Capital Partners has announced ambitious plans to bring new life into the historic 46-acre property. With a budget of $250 million and an estimated construction timeline of three years, the project seeks to honor the resort's storied past while embracing the future. The redevelopment will include the construction of a new hotel and cultural center that pays tribute to the property's rich history. While there is excitement surrounding the revival of the Coco Palms Resort, some members of the local community have expressed concerns about the impact of the construction project. The Kauai Council Chairman acknowledged these sentiments, but emphasizes the company's commitment to respecting the island's people and heritage. Reef Capital Partners Managing Partner Patrick Manning expressed this dedication to the Associated Press, stating, even though we know there are many that don't want it rebuilt, we intend to be viewed and earn a reputation for doing everything we can do to honor the past and respect the people of Kauai and guests of Kauai and how we manage its future. This announcement comes at a time when the Hawaiian government is considering measures to address the environmental impact of tourism on the islands. One such proposal involves the introduction of a year-long pass for tourists to access parks and trails, helping to offset the damage done to coral reefs, dolphin habitats, and other environmental concerns.
With the Coco Palms Resort set for a grand transformation, travelers can look forward to experiencing a piece of Hawaii's cinematic past while embracing the island's commitment to preserving its natural beauty and cultural heritage. Ama Waterways, a leading river cruise line, has announced the expansion of its sustainability initiatives, incorporating innovative measures to reduce environmental impact while enhancing the guest experience. With a focus on energy efficiency, reduced fuel consumption, and responsible resource management, the company is committed to promoting responsible travel. Each ship in the AMA Waterways fleet is receiving tailored enhancements based on factors such as location and size. For instance, the AMA Magna will be equipped with solar panels on the awnings of select staterooms to reduce fuel consumption associated with heating and cooling. In an effort to minimize food waste, AMA Waterways has replaced buffet-style breakfast and lunch service with full-service a la carte menus, which are expected to reduce waste by up to 30%. The cruise line is also testing a new river track pilot navigation system on several ships to further optimize fuel consumption. On the Chobe River, AMA Waterways Zambazi Queen employs a sophisticated five-stage water purification system that enables the safe use of river water for onboard showers and taps without disturbing the riverbed. The ship operates on battery power at night and low emission generators during the day. AMA Waterways has a history of prioritizing sustainability. In 2019, the AMA Christina became the first river cruise ship to receive the Green Award for its environmental performance. Since then, 19 additional ships in the company's European fleet have been granted the same recognition. AMA Waterways continues to emphasize the importance of sustainability in the travel industry, stating that each ship and every itinerary they operate is thoughtfully designed to minimize fuel consumption. The impact they have on local communities is also of the utmost importance. The company's commitment extends to its ongoing projects, such as the construction of two new ships in Colombia. The company highlights the collaborative efforts with local architects, designers, and suppliers to not only honor the natural resources and culture of the region, but also improve the lives of local residents along the Magdalena River. With these expanded sustainability initiatives, AMA Waterways demonstrates its dedication to eco-conscious travel, providing travelers with an enjoyable and environmentally responsible cruise experience. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our goal is to help all travelers, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled, to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends.